Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna continue this project that I started some videos ago multi-series videos where I took this very nice Aces motherboard it's the Maximus 7 Ranger and um, it had a broken pin this uh, motherboard it's kind of a disclaimer I did not destroy this motherboard it was already broken I'm trying to fix it if um, if I don't succeed on fixing it which there is a very high chance that I want nothing has been lost only my time and your time watching but the motherboard is dead and ready to go into the bin and we're trying to fix it so if that doesn't happen don't get upset in the last video I desoldered the socket for it which used to be here let's go to the bench where there's a lot better light the motherboard and as you can see the socket is missing and I have it right here the old socket which I removed if you haven't seen that video you should really see it but down under the motherboard I've made this desoldering station out of old wood and this plate is not flammable but there's a heating element down here to give the motherboard some heat from underneath not enough to to break anything the, it's not enough to desolder the capacitors that is on the back side of the motherboard but it's enough to heat up this general area so that this hot air gun which is a really cheap one uh, was enough to put on additional heat to melt the soldering tin on the upside i need to clean this up because this is a mess we can't do anything with that so i need to remove all the solder from these i don't know how many hundreds of these small points there are but they have to be pretty clean for this to work and well this is the old one let's have a look at the new one shall we this is the new socket that I got from China. This was really cheap. I paid like $5 for one of these. So if that saves the motherboard, that would be fantastic. And you might be able to see that there are small balls, <laughs> balls, there are small balls of soldering tin on the behind of this socket. So I will not have to uh, add tin. I just need to clean these really good so that the tin on the socket here we'll get a good connection down there I did buy some liquid tin to put on but I'm probably not gonna need that because there is already tin on it see if we can get a better view of that okay this is probably pretty close to the closest I can get and you can kind of see the small balls this is focus hill you can see yeah maybe we can try that again and it gets out of focus. Okay, but there is solder on those. I've been asking around how to best clean this um, and the best result or everybody says that I should just try and use this. Some of this uh, copper threaded that will suck up the tin. So that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna cut off this piece that is used and I'll just um, use my soldering iron and try and clean everything up. Not really helping any. Okay, I'm gonna try and add a little bit of flux to uh, make this job easier. I don't know if it's gonna work, but oh. Add a little bit, see how that goes. Okay, I've been working on this for a while. This is boring work, so oh, I didn't want to show you that. Um, I turned on the heater on the bottom of, uh, it's getting hot all over. Down there, the heater is on, and it helped quite a bit to get the leftover solder off. I'm gonna clean it with a little bit of ace acetone. I uh, hope this won't catch fire, or else this will be a spectacular video. Okay, I'm still missing some, I can see, but 
Well, it's starting to look really good. Uh, toilet paper was probably not the best choice. Okay, let's try with these ear pins instead. See if that's better. I'm not done. I can feel that. It's very rough. So no point in continuing that. I'll have to go over it again. I'm afraid the chance of success is over the pins. Oh, where is my finger? On the top right there has left the motherboard. It's absolutely crazy to try and zoom in on this, but well, you can probably see it a lot better than I can see it on the screen here. But I have a pin that is um, that has fallen off and I do believe that there might be other pins on here that are missing now. <sighs> so this is never gonna work, which is kind of irritating because, well, I really wanted it to. I'm afraid the cleaning of the motherboard really broke the socket down here. Oh, this isn't even the socket, it's just where the socket is placed. And there is no chance in hell for me to fix that now. I'm not gonna be starting to try and put on small pieces of wire here. It's broken. It's not gonna be fixed. Um, I would like to try to put on the socket anyway. Now I don't have to be careful about anything, so I might just try it after all. Just put it on there and see what happens if, if I'm actually able to fasten it. And we might even get a better picture of it because now I don't have to be careful not to damage anything. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, of course, these things would slide around. I think we'll just try and heat it up and put the socket on it and I'll throw it out afterwards. So just to do something. Um, I saw that this flux was very good at, at having the joints go nicely together. So I'm gonna put a little bit of flux on here and I'm gonna put it around with a uh, with an ear pin to just get a very thin layer. And we're gonna take the new socket and we're gonna, just for the sake of it, we're gonna place it right. Let's see, it goes this way. I can see that on how the pins are laid out, stuff like that. We have to remove the top cover. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be ruining this $5 socket for this project. And we're gonna try and place it in the middle somehow. The idea is that when it heats up and it makes the solder connection between all the pins down there, except the one that is missing, it will slide in the right spot. Um, that's the idea. If that's gonna work, I have no idea. I'm gonna power the, the bottom heater. Let's get the battery closer. Warm that up again. I had it on when I tried, when I was cleaning. And I have the charger on the battery as well. There we are. So now it will be heating up from the bottom and I will ready the, the air heater. And this is the heat gun that is gonna be warming up the socket from ups, upside from here. There, we need some power on that. And I think I need to give you a better overview of what's going on here. So this is the setup. The battery and the charger over here. The other thing is used to heat up the bottom part of this. Um, the air gun is gonna be heating it from the top side. The lamp is gonna give us some light so we can see what's going on. I could protect it with this thing, um, but I think it's, it might not be necessary anymore, now that I don't really care what happens. I think we'll try this. Just start it up. And let it heat for a little bit. The temperature is getting high. I can smell it. It smells really burnt now. So I'll put it on low for a bit. The temperature was up about 
250 degrees so that's probably okay maybe I think I'm gonna say that it's done. I have no chance of testing this after all. And I'm gonna let it cool down and we'll have a look. Disconnect this as well. Okay, I've let this cool down. Been doing other things. I haven't gotten it in straight. It's kind of okay with this line up here, but it seems like this line back here it, it seems to be going over over the white line here it's not by much this could actually be working if i hadn't smashed it up and it's on there too bad i can't go in under it and see if there is a good connection on every pin not even the capacitors down here has moved any this time so well it, it looks great it's not gonna work, so it might be working. I have no chance of testing it, so that's a bit too bad. I just mounted the CPU thing here for clamping down the heatsink and so on. Oh, oh, it's actually for clamping down the CPU. Could maybe really take this plastic thing off to have a better view of it, so. It looks okay. It's not gonna work because I fucked it up. Well, sadly enough, that's the end of this motherboard. If I hadn't broken it while cleaning the solder off it, it might have worked. Now we have no chance of knowing and I would have been a little bit more careful on soldering this socket on again. Well, it really does look like it would have worked if I didn't fuck it up. So, well, from broken motherboard to broken motherboard, we got absolutely nowhere, but I hope we learned a lot. Did we learn a lot? If you learned a lot, please give this video a like. If you didn't learn anything, well, sorry for wasting your time. But I learned a lot. Um, if I ever get one of these again, I'll be more careful when I clean out the shutter because that seemed to be the dangerous point right here. Um, the rest of it was really simple. I'm on a lookout for a new motherboard with a broken socket. <laughs> so um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again doing similar stupid things to other devices. Too bad. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.